future generations will not know good video games and it's a really sad state of gaming because you know these new generations have missed out on the good decades of gaming whether it be from ps1 to ps3 or whether it be from you know nintendo n64 to nintendo switch or xbox o to xbox 360 and the biggest issue is that these new generations will not know good video games but will always defend the bad ones that come out because of how a lot of the video games that are coming out these days are broken and incomplete they, they want games that pander to certain audiences and that have a lot of useless virtual signaling and gaslighting and are supposed to bring up a certain level of wokeness in people the SJWs, the LGBTQ, all of these big all of these big game article companies like IGN who get paid off to play video games and who get paid to overhype the video games and to lie to the audience and say no this is a 10 out of 10 and listen I get it people need to make money but we need to be honest with ourselves as where gaming is going because I mean if you take for example Gen X to Gen Z this is pretty much the range of people who are gaming these days and you have the people on the other hand who founded gaming and the people who are the diehard gaming fans who want good video games and don't want to see a video game that is overpriced and that comes up underdeveloped or not even finished and broken in the first place. You have the old heads, the people who played the video games that started everything and put gaming on the map and where it is today. And then you have the young ones who who have zero pedigree or have a zero measurement of good video games who are the type of people who buy a playstation 5 or an xbox series x just to play fortnite and minecraft games that don't even really test the capabilities of said new consoles and it's like how are you someone who just wants to play these online games but you're always willing to defend microtransactions you're always willing to defend pay to play online it's like for the longest that I've seen, gaming has been more about money than actually the gamers themselves. Like, buying every single new video game doesn't make you a gamer. And that's the truth, because a lot of the people who value a game for what it is, and you know, these new generations are people who never grew up playing the first Need for Speed Most Wanted. They, they, they never the people who grew up playing Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, God of War, Ghost of Sparta, Halo, Halo Reach, Halo 4. The, the early founding games, these are people who never played that, they never played Forza 2, they never played um, Gran, Turismo, Gran, Tur Gran Turismo 5, and if you look at a lot of the old games these days, they, they've been taken off stores, they've been taken off platforms, you can't even buy them anymore, and why, because apparently they were not as commercially successful as let's just say GTA Online, or as Fortnite for example, and they gaming is in a really weird place right now because they are trying to make sure that they keep everyone happy but they are losing their core fan bases like with going full digital with games i miss having a collection of video games like i do with my playstation 3 games i miss having and owning things i like owning video games i don't want to have a whole digital library of games that at a moment's notice i could lose if i forget my password for example and it's like defending microtransactions and stuff. And you even get microtransactions in campaign games now. And that's not even getting on the idea of how it's all based on money. You'd have kids saying, no, I don't want to buy these new games because they're too expensive. And you'll have a kid who's like, no, I have the fastest internet. I have the most money. I'm the real gamer. You just broke. And then they will say, when the adults say that, no, this game sucks. It's like, no, you just don't know good video games. You're old. It's like, and these are the people who never grew up playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Tekken 5, you know, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. They never played the first Assassin's Creed games. They don't know who Desmond is, who Desmond Miles is. And they don't know who Abstergo is. <laughs> so, so it's kind of crazy and very sad that you have a whole two or three generations in the future that will never get to play the video games that we get to play but will always defend 
their bad video games and the video game and the and the game dev tactics that they're doing today of pushing pushing agendas and manipulating the youth and gaslighting and virtual signaling and telling them that you need money to play video games and that's one of the reasons why i never bought a playstation 4 because i still own a ps3 i have two in fact one's broken but yes like this is one of the reasons why i never bought a ps4 is because i have to i've never understood the pay to play online system i mean i know xbox has been doing it for the longest but i mean i have to buy the, the console itself the playstation 4 i have to buy another which, which the playstation 4 itself is expensive i have to buy a controller which is expensive i have to buy the games that i want to play which will probably be expensive and cost me a lot of time because i have to look for them and then i still have to pay to play online and if i'm someone who has a full-time job who only has a good solid two hours to play games then how would why would I pay for three months or when I only get to play two hours a day and off of the time the thing is just sitting there by itself and there's a reason why I'll make a video about why gaming itself is dying and why PC gaming sucks and gaming and, and console gaming is better but I mean these future generations unfortunately won't have the privilege to play the old video games that that you know us you know Gen X or you know the millennials and and the and the nineties kids got to play and you know. With, with remasters and remakes, I understand, yes, I understand that re remastering an old game for a new console is not a bad thing. But don't charge or don't overcharge on games because I don't have $70 to pay for games that most of the time are broken. And it's like, I don't want remakes and remasters. I want brand new games. Whatever happened to trilogies of where you'd get a game in a sequence and get used to knowing one character. And this is the issue with character design and character development video in video games. This thing of making single games and not making series of games is crazy. It's, it's really uncalled for. You need to make one game, then make a, a two, a three, a four or whatever. But um, that's another video I'll make, is why there's no trilogies anymore of anything. Make a one, a two, and a three. But um, I think I've kind of ranted enough, and I don't want to take up any more of your time. So this is the Chili Man signing off saying, I care about gaming. Hope everyone's doing well. Stay safe. Peace out.